Hello, it's Eric Maryface here, and welcome to the Maryface Aviation channel, Maryface Aviation Ground School CRP stuff. I got asked a question today, and I would like to answer that question using a video. Right, um, I already explained the whole differences between TASs and indicator airspeed and whatnot in the comments to the person who asked me this question. But uh, let's go through this. Um, this question they'll give us they give us the altitude pressure altitude we're flying at the air temperature at that altitude the indicated airspeed and the winds at that point and they ask us three different things the first one to determine if you have a head or tailwind second to find the ground speed and lastly to find a heading well um let's see the first bit is really easy you don't even need to draw or calculate anything but i will draw it so you guys can understand it okay let's if you ever get in the position where you're confused about wind directions and stuff i recommend drawing it out always draw things out that confuse you so let's see we have a point mass that we're we're assuming is the aircraft and that line is north true north and we have a true track hold on i'm missing something yep uh sorry i was meant to put true track as well uh a true track of zero six zero degrees true sorry um that's actually in the question as well um which i will yeah sorry it's in the question now you're gonna draw out this true track 60 degrees zero six zero degrees all right so we've got a true track right here now, you don't actually know um, where the aircraft is pointing. However, you can assume that the aircraft is pointing within that 180 degrees simply because the aircraft's uh, speed, uh, indicated airspeed, is definitely more than 20 knots. And because the temperature is kind of a normal temperature, I mean, we're never going to get a question where the aircraft is flying backwards, is what I'm trying to say. So the aircraft's gonna be flying somewhere in that direction. So if we draw, so basically we know that the overall thrust component, let's say, is pulling the aircraft in this direction. If there is a thrust for, let's, this could be replaced by a thrust force um, uh, component. But then we have to look at the wind force component, which is coming from uh, zero, one, zero. So that's coming from this bit going that way there you go and that's 10 knots and this is 140 knots uh, indicated airspeed so what you see here is that there is a component going against the 140 knots therefore that is a headwind because it is pushing against the aircraft so the first question uh, part I the answer is it's a headwind all right Sorry, there's a big ugly shadow there in the way. Might be a bit annoying. All right, so the second part. Uh, we're gonna do second and third part together as they kind of go in a whole thing. Um, calculate ground speed and heading. Well, the first thing you notice is that we don't actually have a true airspeed and we need a true airspeed to be able to use the wind side of the CRP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find that uh, true airspeed and we're going to use these three values the uh, the altitude the outside air temperature and the indicated airspeed in fact in a gen nav exam whenever you see flight level or like an altitude and an outside air temperature uh, be ready to uh, start looking for a, a true airspeed so we're going we don't need the rules for now so let's just do it like sorry like this uh what you'll notice is there's an altitude window and an airspeed window in the middle, and also a density altitude. We want an air, the airspeed window. Now, what you'll see is that there's temperatures on the outside part of the windows, and inside you've got numbers, 0, 5, 10, etc., and you've got the intermarkings for 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., etc. And what they represent is thousands of feet in pressure altitude. Therefore, uh, sorry, my mic just fell. Uh, therefore, the le flight level 55 will be uh, 55. So what I do to be able to find this is I use the zero degrees and I find the closest whole flight level, so five. 
now it's 5 5 so then I go I align 0 degrees with 5 5 but then now I've got to correct it so that's actually 12 um, degrees aligned with level 5 5 so I move 10 and a bit more to make it 12 uh, let's see I think I'm yep yeah, there you go yep okay so that's about so let's put it up to the camera hopefully you can see this um, you've got about level five five flight level five five with twelve um, degrees Celsius. Now that we've done that, we've actually set up the um, the conditions outside to be able to calculate what the true airspeed is. Now the inside of the rule is going to be our indicated airspeed, and the outside of the rule is going to be our true airspeed. So we're going to find the 14 on the inside that represents 140 knots indicated as we've got here. And we're going to look on the outside and we find that our true airspeed is 154 knots. So we're going to quickly note this down, down here. Uh, TAS equals 154 knots. Fantastic. All right. Now, let's see. Um, now we're going to move on. Sorry, this mic is getting in the way. We're going to move on to the next part, which is using the rule. Now we know it's going to be the low side, so let's ignore the high side. And make sure we put this in in the correct way. I'm going to get rid of the permanent marker, not to accidentally write on the CRT, as I've actually done once before. And this is just a question that we did in a previous video. The one where I use variation several times instead of drift. So we're going to use a center dot and place it on one, five, four knots. Right there. Bam. Right here, center dot, one, five, four knots. Then we're going to put at the top the wind speed, the wind direction, if you remember from the other video. And now we're going to move. 10, 20 knots below 154. So 154 minus 20 is 134. So we go 1, 3, 2, and 4. Second line above. There you go. All right, so we've got a little cross. And now we're going to turn to the true track, which is 0, 6, 0, as we saw earlier. So that is a true track. Okay. Now, as you see here, there's a line saying 6 degrees drift dot is on the sixth uh, degree drift and it's on the right side therefore we're going to turn the, the the actual rule towards the dot by six degrees so at the top you see you've got markation uh, marking of 10 20 30 40 50 degrees we're going to turn the 60 to align it with six degrees now we're going to go back to the dot and make sure that it's still around six degrees about five and a half now if you want to be really anal about it you can um, move it back by half and then you'll see that's still on the half and there it goes so it's about 5.5 we'll leave it um, 0 0.54 degrees 0 0.55 degrees so the, that's and what we found here actually sorry is a true heading it's written up here we've just found the true heading so I'm gonna go ahead and write here that the heading part 3 heading is equals to 0 0.54 degrees that's the heading. Now let's find the ground speed. We go back to our center dot, not moving the SRP in any way, and we look where it's aligned. It's aligned at 141 degree, um, knots. So just write in 141 degrees. Uh, sorry, knots. Damn it, what's wrong with me? 141 knots. That's it. This is the sort of problem we looked at in a previous video. It's just with an extra step, which involves calculating the true airspeed but it's actually really easily done so it's you it's easy it's a really easy question you just need to get used to the whole terminology uh, something I saw was a bit of a problem earlier on which I don't blame you because I've had many times uh, many times problem with terminology so but it's important to get it right it's important to get it right or you'll get confused in the exam well that's it for me today uh, I'm Tarek Merides if you have any questions feel free to ask them Okay, I hope I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Or if you found this useful, please subscribe. And check out my other videos. I've got a series called Mayday Talk, which is kind of cool. 
Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy flying.